What's going on, y'all? We're going to do an updated tutorial for 2022 coming in on how to put a Binance Smart Chain extension on your Chrome browser. Okay, now you can put this wallet on your mobile phone, but we're going to put it on our Chrome browser. Then we'll do another video on the mobile phone. I already have a video on the mobile phone, but it's kind of long and uh we're gonna try to shorten them up so starting off a chrome browser uh and both of these wallets will work with each other to show the same information once you get it on your phone and once you have it uh on your browser right here but first of all starting off let's go over here to the apps then we're gonna go to the web store then you're just gonna click in binance up here in the search box box There you go. Now it should show up right here. Binance Wallet. You just click on it. Now, why the reviews are so low, I don't know. It's not that many reviews compared to over a million plus users. So that's actually a pretty good ratio. But I've been using this wallet since it came out. I've never had any problems at first. Now, at first, it was kind of complicated to use. So that might be the reason for the low reviews. But I've I've had no problems with it. Chrome browser. I actually prefer it over MetaMask, which is uh, another wallet that you can use. But let's go ahead and hit uh, add to Chrome. It's just telling you we can read and change all your data on our website. So whatever. Add extension. Binance Wallet has been added to Chrome. So we can X this off. Now it will disappear. If it disappears on you, just click it. You can hit this pin button and it'll pin it so it won't go away. Now we can exit out. It won't go away. We can get rid of this now. We're here. So we can go back and get us a home tab. You don't have to, but just X this out. And this is how it'll look. I already have two other wallets up here. Uh, but let's click on it. And it's going to start you the setup process. You're not finished. You have to actually set up your wallet. Now, if this is your first time, you've never had a Binance wallet before, you can just create a wallet. If you already have an existing wallet, uh, <clears throat> you know, like a MetaMask wallet, and you want to try out this, but I'm assuming you're the first time person, so you would be creating a new wallet. But you, if you, if someone has already made your wallet and you're just trying to bring it on your computer, you would hit this, assuming you have the private key to it. So, but anyway. This is for if you don't have a Binance Smart Chain wallet. This is your first time. Hit create wallet. Generate C phrase. You're going to need this, these keys to unlock your wallet in the future in case you ever lose it or you ever get locked out of your, your computer or your damaged computer. As long as you have this seed phrase, you can always recreate your wallet. But starting off, you need to create a password for your wallet. Now this password is just for getting in and out of your wallet, just getting in your wallet. So nobody can't come and look at your balance and stuff like this. All right. You can make this whatever you want. As long as you meet these criteria right here, eight or more characters, at least one uppercase, at least one digit and at least one special symbol. So I'm gonna do one real quick. Then you just have to verify it at the bottom. Boom, hit continue. Now, these are the words you're not supposed to lose, okay? There's 12 words right here. Don't give anyone these words. Anybody who has these words can recreate your wallet anywhere in the world, and they can steal all your funds out. You don't give this to anyone, nobody in customer service or nowhere. All right, let's go ahead and click copy because they're going to ask us some. They're going to check that you have written this down. So you need to write these words down, put them in a safe place. Uh, really not supposed to take a picture of them or anything like that or screenshot them. But I'm just going to hit click copy because they're going to ask you on the next screen. They're going to test you for some of these words in the location. They have to be written down in the location, the proper order. One, two, three, four, five, six. And like I said, these words are important in case you ever 
getting locked out of your wallet due to your laptop crashing and you can't get to it. As long as you can get back to the Chrome store, download this extension again. And as long as you have these words written somewhere, you can always gain access back to your wallet. So we're gonna hit click copy. I got a little cheat sheet here, notepad open. Cause I know they're gonna ask me the words on the next screen. Let's go to continue. You can see right here. Please confirm your seed phrase by typing the correct word for each position. 10, 11, and 12 spots I need to type. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick. All right, so we're back. You can see I put the number, well, I had to, I had messed up, so I had to redo it, but um, I had to put the fourth word in, the ninth word, and the twelfth word. And if you look over here, that's what we have here. So if you get this white light up bar, you did it right. Now you cannot copy and paste. If you if you put your words in and you're not getting the white bar to let you go ahead, it detected that you tried to copy and paste. You have to key each one in in order. All right, so let's hit continue. And boom, there's our wallet. So uh, this is pretty much it. Now the rest of it is just gonna be a video on how to actually use the wallet uh how to get your address which is right here this is your address right here to receive funds this is okay to give people your address you hit this button here to add tokens you're going to need the contract address because the only token they give you is bnb by default but if you hit this plus button you can select from a list of tokens that you know that you want or you're going to be having like ada is a big one we can click on ada I'm not going to spend too long on this guys because we can be here a little while and that's pegged ada that's not the real ada but it's pegged ada meaning that it keeps the price of it uh it's not the actual pegged ada okay here's pegged bitcoin all right so you can hit back and you should see that these wallets now have uh these tokens are now in here now, what I don't like, they don't have a slide feature that works. So what I have to do is just drag and pull it down. Let's move this out of the way. Well, it's not going to let me drag it. But if you have so many tokens, you're going to have to start slap, dragging and pulling down, which I wish they put a slide bar. Uh, MetaMask does the same thing. Uh, you can get pegged Ethereum. Let's go back and hit plus. Now, if you want, you can type it in, see if they show up. There's cake. That's another good one. I use Ethereum. And what you're looking for, peg, there's Binance pegged Ethereum. We can get BUSD. Go back. Boom. And if you have a token, that's not showing up and you know the contract address, you can go to custom assets and copy and paste your contract address here. We're not gonna get too deep into this. I wanna keep the video under 10 minutes, but pretty much your balance will show up here. This is the network we're on. We're on Binance Smart Chain Network. You can bring your Ethereum wallets over here. You just have to switch networks, put your private keys in for Ethereum. You can put regular Binance Network over here but we're on Binance Smart Chain. You can look at the activity log once you have activities. You can change your name of the wallet and everything. You come over and click and play with this. You can get your private key. Uh, if you want to transfer this to your cell phone or to another wallet, you can do that. Just hit export private key. It's going to ask you for your password. It'll show you your private key. To send funds to this wallet, you can just click on your address right here with the copy button. Or you can just hit receive. It'll show your QR code and it'll show your address. You can change your account name right here. So we kept the video in the 10 minutes. This is how to put Binance Smart Chain on Chrome Browser. We're going to do some more videos later on how to do it on the wallet. Might even do a little tutorial video. I'll let your boy peace.